Let us now look at this question about a wall clock. Find the angle between the minute and the hour hands of a wall clock when it shows 5 o'clock. This is the minute hand showing 12 and this is the hour hand pointing to 5. And what is the angle we want? This is the angle we want. How do we measure this angle? We take a protractor and let us move this protractor such that the center of the protractor will match the vertex of the angle that we want. What is the angle that we want? This is the angle that we want. And this is the baseline. And let us draw a line there. Now that line is showing 30 and 150. So is the angle 30 or 150? Always start from the baseline. This is the baseline. The baseline is 0. Always look at the baseline. The baseline must be 0. And then you start counting. 0, 10, 20. So the inner markings are the ones you must take. Not the outer markings. So if I take the inner markings, you see that it must be 150. So this angle is 150. So the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand is 150 degrees. This is one way of doing it. But there is a different way where we don't need a protractor, but we will do some calculations. Now you know that if I go all the way around, it is a complete angle. How much is a complete angle? 360 degrees. If I draw a line here and there, this is giving us a small part of the complete angle. So if I call this a small part and I draw one more line here, I will get another small part. Both of these are equal. You can just see 12 to 1, 1 to 2, the angles are equal. And then similarly, I can draw one more small part here, one more small part here and one more small part here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have got 5 small parts between the minute hand and the hour hand. I have got 5 small parts. 5 equal small parts. What if I just decide to cut all this? We can do that. This will be the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. There are totally 12 parts. If I go from here all the way around, I have 12 small parts. 12 small parts make up a complete angle. A complete angle is 360 degrees. So how much is each part? Each part is 360 divided by 12. Because 12 of them make it 360. So each part is 360 by 12. 12 into 3 is 36. So 12 into 30 is 360. So 360 by 12, 30 degrees. So each of this is 30 degrees. 30 degrees. 30 degrees, right? Like that. And so, from 12 to this 5, right? You have 5 parts. So, 5 parts is 5 into 30 degrees, which is 150 degrees. So, that is exactly what we got when we measured with a protractor. Here we did some calculations, but you can also use a protractor to measure this angle.